Hi guys, a bit more 3D printing. This is a base for my uh, solar pulse motor, which we will see in a minute. Took rather a long time to print, but it's done now. Right, might be repeating myself a bit here. Uh, can't remember how much I've filmed already. Poundland, Halloween, Light Up Cloche. Uh, from a few years back. I don't know if they've been doing them in recent years, but I bought them a few years back because Lid Motor had been doing some rather nice pulse motors in glass cloches. I think they were glass. They may have been plastic. And when I spotted these in Poundland, I bought a stock of them to copy pound uh, copy pound down copy lid motors idea never got round to it then i was rummaging around in my stock the other day and found them again so i fitted one on top of that pulse motor and 3d printed a nice base for it that all fits together nicely so <laughs> i'm gonna replace the base on this one with a similar one uh, that one just has a magnet in the bottom. This one actually has a crosshead screw in it as the uh, pivot point or spinning point for the bottom. So I need to unscrew that, screw it into there so we can get that one working. Before I can do that, I've got to get the cloche off the base of this one. Now, the other one had come off quite easily. I may have actually done some work on it all those years ago, but this one doesn't want to move. I think it's got hot glue in it, so I'm going to put a bit of surgical spirit on it to wick its way around the hot glue and release it. Um, WD-40 seems to work. Uh, most types of alcohol-based uh, cleaning agents seem to work as well, because what happens is they don't dissolve the hot glue. They actually get between the hot glue and whatever it's stuck to and it just releases it so so i'm going to put some of that on there see if we can get it apart and then put this on there along with that one and at the same time i've got another one that i'm going to see if i can rig up so it turns on on at night using a solar light so that'd be a separate project I'll work on this for a few minutes, see if we can get it loose. I won't waste your time making you watch it. It's got a bit of scrap plywood here. It's starting to move. Try a bit more fluid around it. Well, it sounded like it was coming loose, so we'll try and film it. I think what's actually happened, it's not coming loose, it's actually split round the edge. Well, that's annoying. Right, well, for my purposes, that's actually going to be okay. But that is annoying. Yeah, it's actually hasn't come loose at all. It's actually split right round the base. As I say, for my purpose, that's actually not going to matter. So that's still going to fit on there fine. Whatever they've glued it with, it's obviously worked really well, and it's not hot glue, so it hasn't released with my. Um, Surgical spirit. Hmm. Well, that one that I'm going to work on and convert to solar power, luckily I don't need to take apart. And as I say, I've been lucky there because that's going to work anyway. Right. Uh, need to take this one apart.
something on there to stabilise it first. A bit of blue tack, I use that for just about everything. Yeah, that'll do. I might put a little bit of blue tack underneath the dome just to stop it falling off when people pick it up. Or I could, no, I'm not going to glue it. I'll put some of this on because then we can get it apart again if we need to. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.